I, I confess I'm a little confused, and I appreciate the argument that, that we've, or discussion that we've been having, but for me it's a little too conceptual or, I don't know, metaphysical or te- theological or whatever you want to call it. I want to try to understand what you're asking us to do. Let's take two books that have been much discussed. Um, the first one is called All Boys Aren't Blue, and I will quote from it. I put some lube on and got him on his knees, and I began to slide into him from behind. I pulled out of him and kissed him while he masturbated. He asked me to turn over while he slipped a condom on himself. This was my ass and I was struggling to imagine someone inside me. He got on top and slowly inserted himself into me. It was the worst pain I think I have ever felt in my life. Eventually, I felt a mix of pleasure with the pain. Close quote. All boys aren't blue. The second is a, a, another much discussed book. Um, I'm sure you're familiar with it. It's called Gender Queer. Okay. Let me read an excerpt from that. Quote, I got a new strap ho- strap-on harness today. I can't wait to put it on you. It will fit my favorite dildo perfectly. You're going to look so hot. I can't wait to have your cock in my mouth. I'm going to give you the blowjob of your life, then I want you inside of me, end quote. Now, Mr. Secretary, what are you asking us to do? Are you suggesting that only librarians should decide whether the two books that I just referenced should be available to kids? Is that what you're saying? No. Okay. Tell me what you're saying. Well, uh, first of all, th- there's this... Don't give me a speech. Tell me what you're asking will, me to do. With all due respect, Senator, and, uh, the words you spoke are disturbing, especially coming out of your mouth is very disturbing. But I would, I would also tell you that we're not advocating for kids to read porn, to Senator Booker's what point. What are you advocating for? We are advocating for parents, random parents, not to have the ability under the guise of keeping kids safe to try and challenge the world view of every single manner on these issues. You're getting conceptual game. I'm not getting conceptual. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Because I want to know what you're recommending. It sounds to me like what some of you are saying, the librarians should decide who gets to see that book? I'm saying when you're making, when individual parents are allowed to make a decision of what, where that line is and to kill a mockingbird, which involves a rape scene, should that book be pulled from our libraries? I think it becomes a slippery well, slope. I think you ought to think about it a little bit more before you come here. I've thought about it. If Senator- you're going to propose something, you ought to be able in 30 seconds to be able to explain what Senator- you're asking us to do. Senator- Ms. Kelly, what do you understand? Well, let me skip you for a second. Mr. Um, Cameron, tell me what you're you're proposing. It's pronounced mix. Um, mix is that how you? How would you like me to refer to you, Senator? Your definition of sexual is synonymous with LGBTQ identity. Library. I'm not asking you that. I'm asking you to tell me. You read those two excerpts. Gender Do queer. Do you think that? Are you asking that only librarians and not parents have any say? and whether minors can read those books. Is that what you're saying? Genderqueer has never been in my school library, so it's never been banned. Well, suppose it was. Should it be up just to the librarian, or should parents have a say? There should be facilitation of collaboration between students, parents, and educators. Should parents have a say? Parents should be working with students and educators to be making decisions, because students are... And who decides ultimately, the librarian, or do you take a vote, or who takes the vote... 
book review committees in the community in my school district. You want a committee to decide? There are committees. Okay. Well, I'm asking you, how do we decide whether the two books that I just referenced should be available in the library? What, what would you, if you, were, if you were running things, what would you do? All Boys Aren't Blue, the scene you mentioned, is about sexual abuse. I know what it's about. It's not What erotic. would you do in terms of making the books available? Would you say anybody can see them, or they have to be in a special session? Students who do not read books like All Boys Aren't Blue cannot learn what is appropriate. I understand that. They cannot learn about I understand, but none of you abuse. want to answer my question. You come here and you say censorship is bad, and of course it's bad. But the obvious response is, okay, you heard the books we're talking about. Okay, we're not talking about Catcher in the Rye. So tell me what you want, who gets to decide. And all I've heard is the librarians. And parents have nothing to do with it. And if that's your response, what planet did you just parachute in from? Parents, Senator. Or what country, more appropriately? This is not China. Parents, Senator, for all due respect, parents absolutely have a say. My parents were immigrants, came to this country. We never checked out books without our parents seeing what, what books we were reading. They encouraged us to Mr. read Mr. Secretary, books. I understand this is good for your politics back home. It's got nothing to do with I'm my not, politics. No, my bill is passed. Of course it does. My it bill every, is passed. has everything to do with your I'm here, politics. I'm here to... But you came here with a problem, and I'm trying to understand the solution, and you don't have one. We solved the solution. Other than, we solved other the solution than, Other than Illinois. to tell us that we don't agree with you, you're on the wrong, we'll be on the wrong side of history. We solved the problem in Illinois. We fixed it. Because we uh, well, there are others you make. could work on. Well, that's why I, I'm, I'm here out to of help. Time. Thank I'm you, Mr. Help, Chairman, to help other states make these decisions.